check out uh, some servers. I was looking at lists of like the best servers, and as you well know, as a longtime fan of RuneScape, as soon as I saw someone had recreated RuneScape in Minecraft, I knew I had to try it. So here we are. I just, I just finished the tutorial. I'm brand new to this for the most part. Um, Um, but I wanted to kind of, like, I don't know, get, get my reactions of seeing the world in Minecraft, uh, for you guys, I guess. Because, <laughs> like, I know where everything is, and I know how it all works, depending on, you know, how thorough this remake is. But so far, it's pretty legit. Like, there's the church, there's Lumbridge Castle, which is the spawn point. There's even the man that walks back and forth that you can pick some random uh, stores, the general stores down there. There's the bridge that heads over to where the goblins are at. Let's see how the goblins look. Yeah, nice. <laughs> they look legit, man. Um, the combat is just action-packed. Wait. Oh. <laughs> it's got to be in my fighting slot. so that you don't have to spend forever in this game like the real game. I think they probably had the good sense to know that people aren't going to spend the tens of thousands of hours <laughs> in the Minecraft RuneScape that they might in the uh, in the actual RuneScape. Um, here's the desert.
looks like they actually made the whole map. Did they really think even Barrows is in here? Dude, did they actually make the whole game? <laughs> what the freak? You're kidding me. Okay, so we started out here. This is the spawn point, Lumbridge Castle. Um, then we walked across the bridge and up the path. Um, and now we're here. Um, we got the bank, dank, grand exchange.
so check that out and we'll do that that could be fun okay i know that is only it only interests me seeing the world i mean actually maybe not it's it is kind of cool even if you don't know the areas and what they're usually looking like but um let's go do some mining shall we man we're so freaking fast dude and there's no energy limit too which is just a great change not having to like stop and recharge your energy that's like so much of runescape is is just like sprinting for a while and then walking super slow and then sprinting for a while it keeps showing me the music and i'm wondering how do we get the music to play is there a menu for that that's crazy is there actually a clan function too bro this is wacky oh the highwayman don't see me remember it was always like a, a i don't know it was like a moment when i was always scared of the highwayman because he was level five and you start out at level three and then even once i hit like level 10 or so i was like still like scared to fight i'm talking like 15 years ago when i was like probably even further honestly when i was like 11 so probably like 16 17 years ago um and then you know finally beating that guy and he dropped his cape on the ground so you could like wear his cape around and i was like man i beat that guy i beat my bully and now i wear his clothes because i'm hardcore but yeah obviously i haven't been 11 years old in a while but uh it's weird to, that the game that i played back then is still like around and like in its original form um like literally you can go and play um runescape like exactly how it used to be okay we're gonna mine a bunch of copper I was like, when I saw the Grand Exchange clerk, actually, let me just double check if that's a real thing. Yeah, right here, Grand Exchange, the Grand Exchange clerk right here. I was like, why is there one here? Is it because there's one in each town? Because maybe there isn't a teleport, so they wanted to make it easy. So that they, like, you know, didn't have as many reasons to teleport. Since they couldn't add teleport, but there's teleport. Okay, it says times two, because I was going to say all the XP's are doubled, and it says times two, so I don't know if that's just how it always is. I kind of, I kind of really hope that that is how it always is, because good gracious. Um, I don't really need anything yet. I pretty much just want to, like, upgrade my tools to iron, which I can't really do anyway. I just want an iron sword. Should we just focus on making money? Oh, we gotta check out Drainer Village, bro.
interesting spot, especially on free-to-play servers, is these willow trees over here. Dude. No, please. Please don't kill me. No, 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 no. Yeah, because there's a bank right here, and some people would fish and chop trees right there. It's a great spot. Master Farmer, man, so sick. A question I have is agility, because it doesn't seem to be any of the agility shortcuts. But agility is a skill on the, on the thing here. Yeah, there might not be agility. It might just be there. Maybe they're working on it or something. Slayer um, list, but at least they have it. Um, oh, is there construction? No way. No way. You can have a house in this. Dang. Yeah, I mean, if, if you were going to do a skill last, I think agility was a good call. It's pretty, pretty uh, irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. There's the uh, haunted mansion over there. It looks nice. I'm pretty sure the haunted mansion is just surrounded by like, what, it's pretty much just like a little metal fence, but they went all in, making it like a fortified wall. That's awesome. And if they have all the free-to-play uh, quests, then there actually would be stuff in there. Like, you actually get to go do all that stuff. I gotta get, I gotta get my friends in here. <laughs> this could be a total, like, nostalgic treat for all of us just to roam around on our old favorite places. Okay, we are about to reach, we are about to reach our destination, where we are gonna mine a bunch of tin. So we got eight here, so let's go ahead and, do you drop? Okay, there we go. Cool. So you have to have it in your hand. Maybe everyone hangs out on World 1. I don't know. Maybe that maybe World 1 has 
mass hundreds of people, I don't know, but I kind of get the feeling that there's not that many people playing this, and that makes me a little bit sad, um, but it looks like they're still active and working on it, so that's cool, but like I said, I feel like they don't get enough credit because of not just this RuneScape one, but all of them, like there's so many of these giant servers that, you know, a team works forever to make it, and then you never know if people will play it or if they'll make any money off of it or what. I think it's perfectly cool to make something and not get paid for it, you know, if you enjoy doing it, then, you know, I can't imagine they're super, that they'd be uh, super bummed about it, you know, you still made something incredible, but, yeah, you know, it wouldn't be bad to make some money out of it, too. We got eight bronze bars. Unfortunately, we have to go all the way to Varrock to uh, smith them because the nearest anvil is Doric's anvil up the road, but in order to use it, you have to finish a quest. Actually, let's double check that that quest is in here. Yep, Doric's quest. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. So yeah, I was going to say, oh, maybe they don't have that quest. Maybe you can just go up and use it, but they have that quest you cannot. It's tough because they have like the Patreon link at the top and like there's so many things that I think are great and they always have a Patreon and like I just want to like support all of them. But I also am not like in some awesome financial position. <laughs> like if anything I should also have a Patreon. I had one but I deleted it because I just didn't like, I just didn't like how it felt. Um, but if you're doing something like this and you're not getting like ad revenue as well um then you desperately need a patreon that's like the main way people will actually pay you for it so um so of course i want to like support every patreon i see but i think i support like five or six people's patreons and it's just like i can't keep adding on another one <laughs> i gotta get rich first okay and then i can sign up for everyone's patreon because a lot of these people, they, you know, deserve more credit. By credit, I mean cash money. Because life is expensive, you know. I'd love for YouTube to be my day job. I'm just throwing that out there. I would love for this to be what I do. Um, if you're unfamiliar with my second channel, that channel is doing a lot better, I think, than this one as far as growth goes. Um, I feel like this channel's kind of plateaued in a lot of ways. It's kind of flatlining, but there's still a handful of people hanging out, and I still want to keep making videos for it and branching out, but I think if I'm ever going to make it as like a career YouTuber, it will be my other channel that makes it, because um, I don't know. You have to make it really, really big to make it as a career ASMR creator because you can only do one ad on your videos. That's the one at the beginning because at least if you're a good ASMR creator, you don't want to put ads in the middle of the video. Okay. I cannot really make many things. We're mostly doing this for XP. Um, let's do a mace. Because I want to level up. These are all the same XP. Okay, we got level three. So we can make helmet. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I like that you can close the doors. That's nice. Except these ones are unclosable. Ooh, in the main game, they're unclosable. Oh, they even have the deposit box. Sheesh, bro. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, you know what? There it is. Remember earlier I said the arrows were infinite? It's because when you hover over them, it's a stack. It shows there's 47. But in the icon, it's the icon for one arrow. So, but yeah, like air runes, mind runes, 71, 71. Um, anyway, okay, I'm going to end it there. I realized that I may have overstayed my welcome. Um, this is something that I would love to keep playing. Um, I don't, I would, I would assume I'm not going to do another video about this. This is, this is too specific, um, but I probably will do more Minecraft videos in the future. But let this be a place for you to suggest.
suggest servers you want me to check out um, that you'd love to see me goof around in for a little while, because I know there's a bunch of these servers, and I'd like to get more exposure to them too, if nothing else. So, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you.